"'Twas only when my friend was bumped off "'that I remembered his words of warning to me. <laughs> "'Wish I drove up to Leitrim to see what was going on. There's many the time an old internationally renowned port like me would be asked to solve a mystery, and I've always fancied myself in a wee wee as a kind of Inspector Morse character. You know, a kind of man that's uh, inquisitive, intelligent, and uh, a big hit with the ladies. Wish that the Bitsy Dog Food Factory was on the outskirts of town. Bitsy Dog Food and Recycling. Mm. But why was a dog food factory partnered by DARPA? BAE Systems, NASA, ESA, and why, according to their website, did they have at least two Nobel Prize winning biochemists working for them? That's queer carry on for a dog food company. Which is as many a time that an international port would have to break into a place to follow a new lead. (coughs) We've been expecting you. You have, have you? Not you, specifically. We've been expecting someone to come investigate in the dog fuel factory area. You're not wrong there, boy. I've heard there's a few mysterious goings-on going on. You know about the crematorium. They take the remains, bring them here, put them into the grinders. Leads from smoothies, we call them. <laughs> But Jippers, I suppose there's a lot of cash to be made in the dog food. But that's not all. Imagine a new substance was discovered. A rare metallic compound. A cord only in one place in the globe. In little old Litrum. Let's call it Litronium. The human body processes the Litronium over the 30, 40 years. Nearly everyone living in Leitrim ends up with 50 grams of Leitronium in their bodies. Because extracting it is quite difficult. We grind up the bodies. Put them into settling vats. The Leitronium comes to the surface. What a fortune. Big chippers now, that's a pretty disturbing uh, story you're telling me there. And tell me this now, what's the Leitronium used for? We don't know. The Leitronium is sent to America. We don't know what they do with it there. But Jeppers, when you're doing the detective work, sometimes you have to ask yourself, what would Inspector Morse have done now? I decided the best thing in this situation was to confront the man who owned Bitsy Dog Food. God, I'm not sure that was a good idea now. I'm Ming Bitsy. I own Bitsy Dog Food like. I hear I have like concerns like about my factory like. But Jippers, I have one or two wee concerns all right, Mr. Ming. It's the ultimate recycling like. We take dead bodies and other hospital waste like. We put it into our grinders here. Make Leitrim smoothies. <laughs> what comes out is a delicious, nutritious product. If you're a dog, that is. <laughs> but Jippers, Mr. Ming, I still think you're morally conflicted. I wrote a poem about this a few years ago. Would you like to hear it? No, I wouldn't like. Now, it is a fine business, and we wouldn't want it jeopardise like. So will you play ball? Keep your mouth shut like. But Jippers, Mr. Ming, I'd have no problem in doing that only for one thing, and that is Leithronium. Sometimes you just know you should have kept your mouth shut. You've raised the stakes like. The production of Leithronium can't be jeopardised for anyone. I think there's only one solution now, like, put you into the grinders and make a Leithrum smoothie, like. <laughs> In the immortal words of Inspector Morse, sometimes you have to keep your mouth shut, take the money and run. Wish it is a happy end to any mystery where you're driving away with a bootload of cash, a lifetime supply of dog food, and a young one in the passenger seat, eh? Hmm. If anyone mentions Leithronium, I've never heard of it. <laughs>